I left Saigon mm. in a big hurry. I was married with a lieutenant colonel. When I left my country, oh. I was pregnant three months. And this yeah. is your daughter? Yeah, my daughter, uh, Laurie Weir. So you were born here, Laurie? Yeah. And have you ever seen your father? No. Where is he now? Vietnam. He's in the camp, concentration camp. I get letters from my dad and from my father sometimes, and this is one of them. Dear Lori Lynn, my dear daughter, each time that I see one little girl about your age throughout the barbed wire, I cannot keep myself thinking of you. Well, we're going to try and see your dad in Vietnam. You want to make him a video letter? Yes. This is first position. Mm -hmm. This is second. Yeah. And this is third. Uh huh. I have two of and the other one's saying, slap it, I can't get him out. I was the father, I wanted to give it to my dad. You want me to give that to your father? Mm hmm. Dear dad, how are you? I can't wait until the day you come home. Mom and I miss you and love you very much. Do you have a message for him if I see him? I mean, mm -hmm. I learned him. Yeah. What'd she say? She said that I still know you and I love you very much. In Vietnam, we tried to see Lan when we visited the re-education camp. We were unsuccessful. However, three years later, it was good news. He's free now. Hello. So we went back to find him. Hello. Hello. How are you, Lan? Fine, thank you. Yeah? Looking Hello. good? Hi. Hi. Who's this? He's my brother. Hello, how are you? My uh, brother. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm living here with him and his family. How long have you been out of jail? Three months. You miss them? Hey, keep fooling my own thing. Well, you got some of the papers that you need, but how long before you can go to the States? I must wait. At least for two or three years. Two or three years? Yeah. This must be a more long time for me to reunite with my wife and daughter. I long for that very much. Very, very much. While you're waiting to go to America, you're learning to be a tailor. Do you like this type of work? Not very much. I must, I must try my best now. Yeah. So many people around here, right? Look at all these kids. Listen, if I could do one favor for you, what would you like? Yes. I would like very much that you can help me to make a telephone call to my wife at America. Hello. Hello, Madam. I love you. I love you too much, my dear wife. You want to talk to my, your daughter a little bit? Many kids. Okay. okay. Dad? You love me? I love you too. Me too. I want to say something more with mom. I love you. We all love you. Okay? Take good care. I, I mean, it's the first time I ever heard him. And Dad, no. I just can't wait to see him. I pray. for his coming here every day. I hope one 
day. My dream come true. And I will see him again. Anybody speak English? Can you speak well, English? I you know, I, you know, sir, about <coughs> your question. Uh-huh. <coughs> Why, because uh, the guys standing around here make you nervous? They make you nervous? A lot of people feel abandoned by the Americans. Every prisoner is a scam. We'd like to have uh, freedom life. Mm -hmm. And I think that the freedom world can save us. Save you. Save us. Bring us out as quick as possible. This year, Vietnam released many men from the camps, so we went back to search for Major Kung. And we found him living behind a bridal shop. Happy to see you today. How are you? Fine, you. Good. I am here to be my wife. Oh, your mm -hmm. wife? This man is the brother of my wife. Oh, well, yeah. You? You're still saving something we gave you with the re-education camp? It is my precious food here from you. Do you remember that? Did you get in trouble? Yeah, I uh, got so many trouble after your leaving camp. Did you get beaten? Did they beat you? No, nobody beat me, but they cut me. They handcuffed you? Yeah. Was that the first time you had been handcuffed? No. There are so many times they cut me in the concentration camp. Mm. Were you the prisoner in the camp that gave them the most difficulty, that fought against them the hardest? Perhaps. The Major was one of South Vietnam's toughest soldiers, a war hero. In 1971, NBC made this report about his exploits. But now, all that's left from those days are the songs learned from his American advisors. So slowly, and time can do so much. So, Major, you sing these old songs and dream about going to the States? Yeah, I dream. Yes. I always dream about the living near my father in California. Where are you going? I go to church. Go to church? Yeah. Every Sunday? Every Sunday. We can go to, uh, to have a stop coffee now. Well, you can sit here without any trouble, but you got any money? But no money. I rarely go to the cafeteria because I have no money. No much money. Without a job, are you totally dependent upon your dad in the States? Yes. And why are you excited? Uh, because today we uh, go to airport to get the... Uh, Show from California. You're getting a package from California. Uh -huh. right. yeah. 
It looks like everybody's getting a package today. And the government charges you what? 40% duty? Can you... Yes, yeah, a lot of money. Yeah? Big tax? Yeah, big tax. What did you get? A pair of pants? Yeah. Thousands of Vietnamese families survive off these care packages. The black market ladies wait to buy everything, but they're a little bit camera shy. Come here. You want to sell this stuff now to live? You sell about six months. You can live for six months on this box. The major is depressed about receiving these handouts from America. In the old days, he used to get medals. What is it? This is the first time medal. I uh, saved five uh, soldier, American soldier, out of the dangerous ambush. You saved the lives of five Americans. Uh, and right now, why? Uh, United States of America government don't save me. Cuban American Cuban don't save me. By the way, uh, bring me out of this country and let me live uh, on the beautiful country of yours. A Vietnamese official reviewed the major's request to go to the United States, but it wasn't good news. How many people are in line in front of you? Many thousands. So we're talking about years, perhaps? Really, I have sympathy for you. But I can't. You're not leaving for a long time. 